Hey folks, welcome to another day, another unboxing. This is the Moto G7. The G series from Moto has been the budget mid-range champion for quite a few years now and so I'm really excited to get my hands on this one. Uh, there's also a Moto G7 Power that I have here to review. So that's kind of a slightly detuned version but with a much larger battery. So let's uh, unbox them both and have a look at what the differences are real quick. So let's start with the G7. All right, so this is the Moto G7 box. It says Moto G7 on here. It's kind of a little blue accent on here, Moto G7 again. And uh, then there's some iMaze and stuff on this end. Now, um, you can see the specs here. There's some more details about the phones back here. So let's have a look, shall we? Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, da. Boom, that's one. So here's the phone. Ta-da. Look at that, little dual camera action here. All right, we've got a divider here. Let's see if I can get it out with one hand. Yes, I can, so there we go. Nothing too much here. I like how they do the dividers out of cardboard with just a cutout for the buttons, pretty clever. Then we've got some paperwork. Let's see what that looks like. Nothing left in here. So we've got a Moto well, there's the SIM removal tool, first of all. And then we've got a couple of Moto brochures. This one looks like the legal safety stuff we don't really care about. And then we've got the uh, actual manual here, Moto G7 README. Uh, some illustrations. I'm kind of wondering if there's a little thing that shows the... Uh, yeah, like the fingerprint sensor is the Moto logo. That's pretty cool. Okay. In the box is also a USB type uh, A charger. It's probably a fast charger, turbo charger is what uh, Moto calls this. Uh, but yeah, it says turbo power. It's probably not the high speed one, just the regular one. And then there's of course a USB type C cable because this has been a type C phone for a while. So you can see type A on one end, type C on the other end right there. So that's it for the box. Nothing else in here, as you can see. Uh, let's have a look at this first phone. Let's see if I can take it out of here without having to open anything. I like it when I can just slide them out. So it was a nice experience. But nope, this one's trapped in here. So we're going to have to do this the hard way. Here we go. You ready? It's going to make a nice sound. Ta-da! So this is the first phone the Moto G7. So remember, there's a G7 Play, a G7 Power, which we're gonna unbox next, a G7 and a G7 Plus. Now they all have various specs, but uh, this is kind of the two, the two flavors we're gonna look at are the flavors that are widely available in the US. And so let's turn this on real quick so you can see the display. Ta-da, so this is a 6.2 inch display. Um, it has, uh, I'm pretty sure it's an IPS panel, but it is a 1080p display, right? So that's actually pretty cool. It's got a teardrop, dewdrop, whatever you want to call it, notch at the top, and quite a bit of bezel at the bottom with the Moto logo there. Uh, so an eight megapixel camera trapped in here in the top as well. So that's basically what the front looks like. On the back, you have the fingerprint reader, which is in, built into the Moto logo. This is pretty awesome. I think they've been aiming to go in that direction for a while now. Uh, ever since the Nexus 6, I think, uh, you know, there was no fingerprint reader on the Nexus 6, but there was rumors it was going to have it, and it was a Moto phone, remember? And it had, uh, it had a little dimple with a Moto logo on the back, so it could have happened. Um, so in terms of, of cameras, this is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, you've got a 12 megapixel primary camera in here. Uh, it's an f over 1.8 camera with autofocus and uh, you know phase detect autofocus it doesn't have OIS though the uh, to, if you, you can get OIS with a better f-stop and a bigger pixel count on the uh, the g7 uh, plus you've got a 5 megapixel secondary camera for um, portrait and then you get the dual LED flash here uh, nothing much here. You get the primary microphone or a third microphone at least in the back here. Very interesting that they did that last year as well. So that's not quite unusual for Moto. Glass Sandwich. This is a really nice phone for the $250 to $300 price point. It's got, you know, glass front and back, metal frame. It's pretty serious stuff. 
Um, at the top here, you've got the SIM tray and micro SD expansion. You've got a secondary mic. On the right hand side, you've got the power button, which is a ridge, which I really like. And you've got the uh, volume rocker. And then on the bottom, you've got a headphone jack, which is a really welcome thing, USB type C. And then of course the speaker right there. Uh, nothing really on the left hand side. This is a pretty bare phone in that, in that sense. So now, um, what's on board? There's a Snapdragon uh, 632. It's a newer chip from uh, Qualcomm. You get four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage on this device uh, and a 3200 milliamp hour battery. So that's what you're gonna get in terms of specs on this phone. Pretty cool. Um, for the price, I have a feeling it's gonna be a winner. Last year I reviewed the Moto G6. You should check out my review on Geekspin. It was a great phone for the money. I, I really think that the G7 is gonna follow in the footsteps. So let's see how it fares, right? All right, in addition to this, I have the Moto G7 Power right here. So let's unbox that one, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. Boom. Same kind of uh, presentation. You got the phone here and a little condom that will be obviously impossible to remove unless you break the seal, which is a little unfortunate. Then you have this divider. Again, same deal. You got the same documentation. Uh, nothing too unusual here since we just saw the same stuff. Uh, you know, SIM removal tray, legal, and uh, just the uh, getting started guide. And then the same chargers. Pretty sure this is the same turbo power charger. Yep, type A on this end. And then of course we've got type A. And do we have type C again? Yes, we have type C on this phone as well. So type A to type C cable. So that's what's in the box for the G7 power. Now let's uh, slowly take this out. Unfortunately, I cannot remove this again by sliding it so i'm gonna have to do the surgery of removing it properly like this Ooh, this is a slightly bluish color very nice and i can immediately tell you from touching it that this is plastic so it's very shiny plastic and looks very good um, but it's nonetheless plastic the frame might be metal now nah, i also think the frame is plastic because i don't feel antenna bands let's compare the phones in a second but first let's turn it on and I'll talk about some of the differences. Uh, there's a bigger chin with, again, the Motorola logo here. Um, the notch is a lot bigger. You get an earpiece integrated in the notch, whereas on the other one, it's right in the frame. Same eight megapixel front facing camera. This is an IPS um, LCD again, but it's a 720p display, not a 1080p display. Um, not sure, but this looks like it's already been set up. Oh no, I thought for a second that with all this boot screen it had been set up, but... So now we've got, um, fingerprint reader in the back is the same. Camera is slightly different. Instead of f over 1.8, it's f over 2.0. It's 12 megapixel. Uh, no face detect on this one. Single, um, camera. LED flash. You know, that's pretty much one of the changes. So you, you lose the second camera, you lose the 1080p and go down to 720p. And, uh, what else do you lose? Uh, not too much. Spec-wise, uh, this has, a, again, the Snapdragon 632. It has 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. So you lose in terms of storage and in terms of RAM. But again, you remember the price is just, it's about $50, maybe a little less than $50 less. The big, big, big deal here, the reason you'd want to consider this phone is the battery. 5,000 milliamp hour versus 3,200. That's huge. That means this thing's going to tick forever, right? So that's the thing to think about, right? Some people are going to really like this phone because of battery life is going to be insane. So on top here, you've got a headphone jack, as you can see, secondary microphone. Uh, then on the uh, right-hand side, you got, again, the power uh, button which is ridged again and the volume rocker really cool I like the ridge power buttons on the bottom you have USB type C and the primary mic here and I bet you the left hand side has the sim slot yep sim slot micro SD tray right there and that's basically the layout on this phone so basically the choice you have to make right is do you want the the glass and metal phone versus a more plasticky phone do you want more battery life do, or less battery life? Do you want slightly better specs? Do you want uh, a secondary rear camera? You know, these are the questions you have to ask yourself. So processor-wise, you're not really losing anything, but your, your differences in, in, in battery life and in RAM and in storage and in camera setups. Um, and that's basically it. The Moto G7 
on one on the right here and the Moto G7 Power with its insane 5000 milliamp hour battery and its beautiful bluish color here on the left. So that's it folks, that's my quick unboxing of these two phones. Um, I will be reviewing them so keep an eye on one of the publications that I publish for. And you know that this channel is a compliment to the podcast. So subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, like the video. But also remember mobiletechpodcast.com. Subscribe to that and tell your friends about the podcast because that's where the meat of this is at. If you want to hear what I think of these two phones, it's going to be on the podcast and uh, potentially on that review that I'm working on. So um, the next thing I wanted to bring up is our sponsor, ProXPN. If you, like me, travel a lot, you probably want to have a VPN. And a VPN lets you stay private and secure when you're traveling, when you're in airports, coffee shop, and hotel rooms, and you don't have necessarily uh, guaranteed um, securities and privacy. So uh, ProXPN is a VPN. It's pretty great. I use it and lets you watch videos in different geographical areas. And more importantly, if you go in the description below, you will see a promo 50% off if you want to buy ProXPN. So if you're looking for a VPN and you want a great deal, ProXPN has got you covered 50% off in the, in the description below. And so that's it, folks. Uh, thanks to ProXPN for being sponsors and stay tuned for more unboxing videos here on the channel. And remember the podcast. Cheers, everybody.